If meat and potatoes sounds great for dinner, you've come to the right place. What do you say weekend warriors? Today we're gonna cook up some tri-tip, some potatoes. I'm doing it all back here on my Napoleon Phantom 500 series grill. We're gonna cook it indirect for a little while, bring it up close to medium rare, and then we'll finish it off over on the side burner, get a real nice sear on it. Let me show you this tri-tip and what we gotta do here. This is your tri-tip, so this comes from the bottom sirloin part of the steer. It's not as common here in the Midwest for whatever reason, I don't know why. Uh, it's very popular in California. So anytime I can get my hands on one of these, it's a special occasion. And they call it a tri-tip, tri meaning three points. So kind of by its shape. And you can't see it real well right now, but once I get this trimmed up, you will. The grain actually goes in two different directions. And we wanna be mindful when we slice this to eat it to go across the grain. So we'll show you that. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do is really clean this up. I wanna get as much of this uh, silver skin and fat off of this as possible. I'm not smoking this low and slow today. If I was, I would leave more fat on it uh, than I'm going to for this. So the first thing I'll do is just come down to this point. We're gonna get rid of all of that silver skin. So I'm just gonna get my knife just barely under and start trimming away at this guy. Just being careful. You're not supposed to cut towards yourself, but uh, taking my time I've done this before I've actually never cut myself so here we go just start cleaning it up and when I get down on here on this end I'm just gonna run my knife along the edge this is not gonna survive the cook this outer piece so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that little bit off spin it around I'll do the same thing right here. Just clean up that edge a little bit. A little bit more silver skin. And now same thing up here on the thicker side. Just gonna angle my knife just under the surface. Cut that off. And I'll just continue this until it's all trimmed off. And look at that, after five minutes of uh, trimming, I've got this looking pretty good. Now we can start to see the grain of the muscle. So you see on this part here, it's kind of going this way and then as we get further along, it starts going this way, right? So you just want to be mindful when it comes time to slice this that you're going across the grain, right? So we'll show you how to do that. And for today's cook, I'm going to use some of this Heath Riles beef rub. This is one of the better store-bought beef and steak rubs. I like this for grilling because there's no sugar in it, so I'm not worried about uh, it burning. And we're gonna cover this pretty generous. It's a big piece of meat and it can withstand a lot of seasoning. So we'll get this side, flip it over. And now we'll get this side. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for about the next 20 minutes while we start working on our potatoes. Make sure we get that little piece I missed. And speaking of potatoes, I'm gonna use these honey gold potatoes. These are these little baby potatoes. They're sweet, they cook a little bit quicker. And what we're gonna do is parboil them over here on the side burner. And what you wanna do is uh, add the potatoes to cold water. You also wanna add some salt. It's a good time to start seasoning those potatoes. So about a tablespoon of salt. And then I'm only cooking for a couple people today, so we'll go about a quarter of this bag. And we'll go ahead and fire that up so you got your little igniter switch. Turn the gas. 
and that's going to start coming up to the boil. So uh, par cooking means we're not going to cook them completely. We just want to soften them up a little bit. This is going to give our tri-tip some time to absorb those seasonings. And then you can make anything else you want and start working on that, like a chimichurri. And speaking of chimichurri, let me show you a real simple one. I've got some more complex recipes. I'll put a info card above for a really killer chimichurri. But this is a kind of a simple take on an Argentinian style. So I've got about a cup of flat leaf parsley from my herb garden, and I'm gonna chop this up. Okay, that goes in the bowl so the wind doesn't blow it away on me. Okay, now I've got, this is three sprigs. It'll probably come out to two tablespoons of fresh oregano. So I'm gonna peel those leaves off. Give those a chop. Smelling good. Put that in the bowl. Two or three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna go with two today. But if you like a lot of garlic, use three. All right, so that's looking good. That in the bowl. Some fresh cracked black pepper. Maybe, I don't know, quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Give it some heat. Just a little pinch of salt using kosher salt. Do this to taste, you know, I'll taste it later if it needs more, I can do that. A couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar. It's my favorite part of this recipe. And about a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We'll go ahead and mix that. Make this, you, probably the day before would be good. Or like I am now. Um, before I even put the steak on. You want to give this time for those flavors to develop. And that's it. Let's see how these potatoes are doing over here. All right, it's boiling, so that's a good sign. Put a fork in here, okay. These are perfect. So that took about 10 minutes total from the time I turned this on. The fork goes in, but it's not splitting it right in half. So those are par cooked. I'm gonna take this off, strain it in the sink, let them cool down a little bit, and then we'll move on to the next step. And let's get this grill fired up. So I'm only gonna turn on two of the burners. So this will be our hot zone. This will be our indirect zone over here. This is where the tri-tip's gonna go. Get this lid down, let it start to preheat. All right, so here's the potatoes. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. You could do them right on the grill grates if you wanted. I happen to like doing them on skewers. So we're gonna load these up. We'll leave some room between them, let the heat circulate. There we are. Now what I'm gonna do is brush them with some melted butter. It's gonna make these really decadent. I'm gonna sprinkle them with some Heath Riles Everyday Rub. It's kind of like a salt, pepper, garlic. Potatoes are a blank can canvas. You know, you, they need seasoning. So this is really gonna help them out. Gonna take a meat probe, put it into the thickest part. Which will go right about there. And because I have more than one, I'm gonna put in a second one in this thick part right here. All right, now we can monitor two different spots. I'm using my meter. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but 
probe one is at uh, 59 degrees, probe two at 61. So it's been sitting out at room temperature for a while. Should help it cook nice and even. Let's get it over on the grill. And she's up right around 425 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly 225 degrees Celsius. Get this open. I'm gonna put this furthest away from the heat. Lay that down right there. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my potatoes going. Let's close it up and let it cook. And it's been about a half an hour and my temperature probe's telling me this back one is at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This one's a little closer to 130. So it's time to pop these guys out of here. Give my potatoes a turn. Crisping up real nice. And let's get our tri-tip over onto this uh, sizzle zone side burner. I sprayed it with just a little bit of cooking spray and we're going to go down. You can see how hot it is. It's smoking. Let's put it right on there. And this will probably just do, you know, maybe two minutes per side. I can char up these potatoes a little better on this side now. All right, it's been about a minute. Go ahead and flip it. I'm gonna let this side get some action. Wow, if you guys could smell that, woo! Let's flip it back over one more time. Nice little char on there. Temp probe in at 137 on that side. About 130 on this side. So this guy is ready to come off. You're always going to have one side a little more cooked than the other just because of the thickness of the meat. But let's go ahead. One more minute on that side. Then I'm going to take it off. I'm going to let it sit out on the countertop for about 10 minutes to cool down, and then we'll start cutting into it. All right, the tri-tip has been grilled. It's rested about 10 minutes. And now, my favorite part, I get to cut into this. You can see the grains right here, kind of going this way, and then they start going this way, all the way up to about here. So I'm gonna start straight. Go a little bit of a thicker slice. And then I'm gonna start fanning my cuts on an angle. All right, and then this guy wants to be cut the other way. Take a look at that cross section. So we'll just give him a turn. Make some cuts that way. Bring in some of our potatoes. A little bit of chimichurri over top. Get some on that beef. Let me try a potato first. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now for a piece of that tri-tip. Here we go. Just a nice, simple steak and potatoes on the grill. Here we go. That's what I love about tri-tip. There's so much beefy flavor to it. It's tender. We use that beef rub and then the chimichurri just really makes it pop. Man, is that good. And hey, you wanna see something else good? definitely check out one of those two videos right there. Hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and I'll see you over there.